Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 3.6 from study book and the question is find I0 in the circuit, this circuit, so I0 and I think the first thing that we need to note is that this I0 here is the same as I3, so I will have I0 is equal to I3, why? Because I0 is this current that pass through this 6 ohm resistor and I3 also the current that pass through this 6 ohm resistor so that is exactly the same current and let's put this as our node here okay so we need to do mass analysis so we need to use KVL at loop I1, I2 and I3 so let's start at maybe I1 first KVL at I1. At I1, we have three components here, this 16 volt, and the current is passing through negative to positive, so I will have negative sign, minus. Uh, maybe here, okay. Minus sign, and the magnitude is 16, so I'll have 16, and then plus 4 ohm here, and the current that pass through it is this I1 here. But I3 here is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I3. Okay. And lastly, we have this 2 ohm resistor here, which is passing through by this I1. So I will have 2 multiplied by I1. And here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I2. All of that will equal to 0. Okay, now let's do some simple arithmetic. So, minus 16, we need to move it to the right hand side. So, I'll have 16 here. And for I1, I will have 4 plus 2, I will have 6 I1, right? 6 I1. And then I2 is only came from here. So, I will have minus 2 I2. And then for I3, that only came from here. So I'll have minus 4 I3. So I will have this as equation number 1. And let's start at another loop. So KVL at I2. KVL at I2. Okay, let's start at this 2 ohm resistor so 2 but now we are working at i2 so i2 came first and remember that this i1 is flowing to the opposite direction from i2 so i will have minus i1 so this is the first component and for this 8 ohm so i will have 8 and the current that passed through it is i2 and I3 to the opposite direction. So I will have I2 minus I3. And lastly, we have this dependent voltage source that flowing from negative to positive. So the sign will be negative and the magnitude will be 10 I0. 10 I0, but remember that I0 and I3 is exactly the same. So I will have put I3 there. So, all of that will equal to 0. And I think the I1 only came from this part here. So, I will have minus 2 I1. And for I2, I will have 2 plus 8, which is 10. And then no more, right? No more I2, so I will have 10 I2. And for I3, I will have minus 8 from here and then minus 10 so i will have minus 18 i3 minus 18 i3 and all of that will equal to 0 okay so let's just save this as equation number two and now let's move on to another loop which is the last loop so i will have kvl at loop i3 
okay let's start from the 6 ohm resistor so we'll have 6 multiplied by the current the only current that pass through this resistor is I3 and then plus 8 multiplied by I3 minus I2 I3 minus I2 and then this one will be plus 4 now multiplied by I3 but here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I1 and all of that will equal to 0 okay so I1 only came from this part here so I'll have minus 4 I1 and I2 only came from this part here so I'll have minus 8 I2 and for I3 I need to sum all of it 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 4 which is 18 right plus 18 I3 okay all of that will equal to zero now that i have three equation and three variables we should be able to solve this now let's put it all together in a matrix so i'll have six minus two minus four and then this one minus two ten and minus eighteen and this one I will have minus 4, minus 8, and then 18. And all of that will be multiplied by I1, I2, and I3. And the result factor will be 16 and 0, 0. Okay. Remember that we are only need to find I0. So I0, which is equivalent to finding I3. So we only need the value of I3 here. So let's put all of the value of that matrix into calculator that we can get the result. Number 5 equation and number 2 here is for 3 variables. So let's put all of them together. 6 minus 2 minus 4 and then 16 okay and then minus 2 and then 10 and then minus 18 and then 0 and then minus 4 minus 8 and then 18 and 0 Okay, that is X, Y, and Z. Okay, remember that we only need this I3, which is equal to Z, which is minus 4. So, I3 is equal to minus 4 ampere, and I3 is the same as I0, so I0 is equal to minus 4 ampere, which is the desired answer of exactly the same as the answer given so hopefully this video will help you in studying circuit analysis and see you in the next video bye bye